This is the scene of an um, earlier fire that happened on uh, Blue Hill Ave. Uh, the fire is all knocked out. But I believe it went to a, um, at least a two alarm fire. I'm not too sure if it went any higher than that. So right now you got Eversource over here. People are still getting their belongings out of there. Um, keep an eye on things. Like it spread, they said it started on the top floor. So I'm assuming it started over there and worked its way all the way down. They got it on this side over here. Bravo 21, See all the debris seven, from the uh, actual two. fire. See if I can get back so I can give you the view on top I'm there. Um, I believe this is where the fire started. This unit here. Uh, Lima two two. That was the focus point, and then it quickly spread. So you guys clear from that uh, cold one? Um, suffered a lot of damage. That's Jonathan Hall from Channel 7. How you doing, John? How you doing, buddy? I'm impressed you know my name. Hey, I have to know your name. How you doing? Good to see you, my nice man. Good to see you. All right, all right. Uh, so is that a 6 or a regular 19? Right, John, I'm 5, 5, 19 extra. Returning a 5, 5, I copy that. I'll get one more. Uh, it's going to be lifeline relaying this information for elderly female. Uh, I'm not too, not too sure how this fire started. I'm um, pretty sure Austin and will do an investigation. See if they come out with it. Um, as you can see, it's a total loss. Um, at one point, all firefighters were ordered to evacuate the building and clear the uh, rooftop because they were going to uh, charge the um, water guns. So at that point, all, all firefighters were ordered to evacuate the building and just fight it from the outside. You get on this side over here so you guys can get another view of the other side. You see it? You see male inside walking around the food court a uh, correction it's uh, longwood gallery apartments a male walking around with food no shoes carrying a bottle of listerine um, so what they're doing they're going dis to disconnect the power they're going to disconnect the uh, gas and more likely this building will be condemned because of the uh, structure. As you guys can see it, some of the um, structure is weakened. 
if I can give you a, if I look at it. The structure is, you know, without having a structural engineer come out and look at it and see how safe it is, that's that's been compromised. Four five one. Not sure if you're able to, and I'll get you another car to move along of DK inside of PLS one forty six Dudley Street. Um. I guess. Four five five. I'm in the triangle. I'll go then. So people are trying to get their belongings out now before they board up the, the building because after they board the building it'll be tough to get your belongings out of there and a lot of people if they can salvage where they can salvage i don't blame them i, I want to get my belongings out now there's a couple of areas of question like if you look at these little cross members here you know if i can get a good picture of it that structure like it's been um it's been it's been compromised then you go up here, depending on what you have, that could be a problem. And it only causes a domino effect. All it takes is one, and then the rest will just come down. And you see, you see the hairline crack in the um, column as well. There's a couple of issues Boston, that it has going on there. Boston, you start EMS here for an email for a 14 year old juvenile. Take a quick walk around the front. And a lot of that damage there could have been from the water cannons. When those water cannons start shooting, they could tear up bricks, knock bricks off of columns. Those water cannons have like, uh, I don't know, like 500 PSI, something like that in there. It's, it's a lot of PSI coming out of there. It looks like a total regut job. Yeah, that's gonna be a total regut. And uh, rule of thumb, if, if more than 25% of the building is damaged, they, 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 they want it done over completely. That's usually how they do it. Uh, and there's so many people that's been displaced out of here. I know it's at least like six or seven people easily living here. Ladder four, and a known magical, 2450 Washington Street, Roxbury. Ladder four, and it's probably like magical, 16, if I'm not mistaken. It's probably it's somewhere around Roxbury, between 12 to 16 nine. people that are probably housed in here, individual units. I have to check the mailboxes and see, because you also got a basement apartments as well. I actually have a couple calls. We're at Hazleton Street. One that's 10 Roxbury Street. Uh, the call is reporting. The uh, EMS is entering the call saying outside that location for a male turning blue. There's also an unknown at 8 Gilbert. Hazleton Road, and Blue right Hill. So uh, it came in as 1333 uh, Blue Hill Ave. 35, I got it. So we got 1333. Blue Hill Ave, which is the address here in the front. Let's give you another quick look around and see.
Sorry, what's your call sign? Those fire escapes haven't been expected in years. So the city of Boston has to get on their game too because you know what? So I have a couple. I have a Fox Ferry. See those fire escapes right there? With the same. And the building inspectors got to get on their jobs because there's no way those fire escapes pass the fire. See those fire escapes over there? There's no way they'll pass inspection. They probably they're supposed to test them every five years. There's no way those those things ever been inspected. I mean, clearly, you can see the steps across. Yeah, so the, the city of Boston really got to step up their game. I mean, that's unacceptable. That's, very, that's, not, that's not acceptable. That's definitely not acceptable. And, 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 you know what? That's my next thing, is covering okay, the, the, the ISD inspectors. These guys, I don't know if you know it, they've been taking a lot of money under the table, too. That's, that's, that's a fact. The, the inspectors of the city of Boston have been taking a lot of money under the table as well. But there's no way these in, these fire escapes ever pass inspection. Um, if, if these fire escapes were pass inspection, you guys let me know. Um, broken rungs, like three, one, two, three, right there. Another one right there, weakened. Um, they're not painted. Um, Technically, you cannot have anything on the fire escape because it's, it's considered a blocked egress. Um, the city of Boston got to really step up their game because they, they've been slacking a lot. And um, that's my next focus is on what are these building inspectors doing? Besides taking our uh, handouts. Yeah, that, that that needs to be investigated. Echo 103. Um, EMS decided to take this guy, so we yeah, are uh, going to be flying down on watch. Make a turn. Sounds good. We're at the 2400 watch. Medical. Might as well bring him back to Santa Rosa. See if he's going to come back. Got to find out who's the building inspector for this district over here. All right, let me get a digital unit down. This is the chick. City of Boston has a, and the reason why I know, cause um, I can't say why and how, but I, I've been I've been observing certain things going on in the City of Boston. I've been observing a few things. Uh, there's no way these things been expected in the last five years. When that building inspector comes out, I'm gonna ask him how often should the fire escapes be inspected. Now, if he doesn't want to answer the question, that's fine. But he should at least try to answer the question. Or he should know the answer. Because I, I was told by the fire marshal, it's every five years. Now, if it's not, then it's not. But the fire marshal had told me that a while back, it's every five years. Now, unless he lied to me. The door closed. I don't know if that door closer broke in the process of the fire or if it was already broken. But a broken door closer there. Well, I guess we just uh, broomed him along. We're all set. We have. Can you check out this family? Well, the water and sewer is just pulling up. They're probably going to disconnect the uh, water to the building. And they do that for a number of reasons. They don't want squatters to be inside there. But it also opens up for people to steal uh, copper pipes out of there too. So it's a kind of looking for the gate. Yeah. It's, it's somewhere over there. Not there. I don't know where it is. It's right there. He got it. He got it right there. A lot of news media is making their way over here to cover the uh, six o'clock news. Uh, 
Okay, possible left shoulder injury after fall. I used to have one of those tools a, a long time ago. I don't know if I still have it. I have to check and see. If you don't have one, you can always have a, a blacksmith make one for you. He's got the right specs on it. Four eleven, the high number is going to be two 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 zero two four three nine nine. Now you gotta get the long tool with the um, with the little fork on it. Go down and hit the gate. I got a question for you. Uh, excuse me, sir. How, how often do they inspect the fire escapes in the city of Boston? Every five years. Every five years. Did you see that one on the side over there? Okay, that's, that's done by fire departments, not done by us from the city. But don't they have to mandate that it has to get done, though? Sure they, do. they do, because I, I know, trust me, I know. So my question is, who's the building inspector for this area? I'm not sure. You would have to call, any questions, call, call 311, have them connect you to uh -huh. Lisa Timberlake. I know, I, I spoke to her plenty of times, you know who I am. Okay. I'll be talking to her. I know exactly who she is. I know exactly who Lisa Timberlake is. I'll, I'll inquire. Now, now he said it himself. He said every five years, so I'm not lying. And those fire escapes are nowhere done in, in the last five years. I'll do, a, do another uh, another look at these fire escapes. Another quick look at these um, fire escapes over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. Can't see it, but there's this like four rungs that are um, completely out. Let me see if I can go up a little high on this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Give me a second. I'm gonna try to get the get the um, image that it's gonna show you for sure. Now, I count I count at least four rungs that are just broken completely off like broken. Um not to mention that one that looks like it's at the top. I don't know if you guys can see the one that looks like it's at the top up there. Uh hold on. Let me see if I can get a better image of it. If you look up here and you zoom in keep zooming uh, I don't know if I can get it yeah that top rung is actually broken too so all those are compromised like if one rung is broken that's enough you don't even need all those uh, rungs to be broken. So they said it's done privately, but I, I know it's it's done privately, but the city enforces it. And I know that because I, I've dealt with them person on a personal level myself. And they made my uh, fire safes get inspected. And even though they, it was already inspected, they still want them inspected anyway. So that's why I know. Um, see if I can show you this other. I have, I have to show you this because this is going to be documentation of what it is. Who was on your mind? 
my thoughts in my mind. <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> anytime, anytime you want to say something out, that keeps on popping up in your that's just as worse as the MBTA that had broken stairs and someone able to walk on it and collapse through. God forbid somebody did try to use the fire escapes, they, they probably would have got hurt. I'm going to turn this one over to um, a, a, a special individual. He, he, he'll do a follow up on this one. Now, if, if that is indeed your second means of egress, that means that you only had one egress out of the building. Take a quick look back here, see if, see if they have any fire escapes in the back now. Okay, um, so that is the only egress other than the uh, front door. Interesting. So there's a lot of debris on the ground. That looks like a connection if you were going to hook up a generator to it. That's what it looks like. If you use the hook a generator up, that looks like the port that you would put a standby generator into. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Um, we got a chase way over there. That's probably where they ran some uh, cables to the roof. I'm not too sure what those cables going on the roof are for. They, they're running cables to that chaseway right there. And it runs all the way to the top. I'm not too sure what those cables are for. I don't know if they have solar panels on the roof. It's possible they have solar panels on the roof. But it's kind of hard to say. But there's a lot of thick gauge cable that's going up there. And I don't, I can't see why you'd be running that much cable up there unless you have some kind of rooftop up there, a rooftop unit or something. Typically, you don't run that much cable on the roof unless you got rooftop units or solar panels, one or the other. Yeah. Yeah, interesting though. This look like just regular cable cable lines. Or oh, that appears to be uh Bravo four five three. Four five three. Bravo four five three. Man, we you get uh you can't see a ball kind of walk. Sure what those, uh, there's, there's a bunch of cable lines up there for sure. So there's a lot of glass and debris on the ground.
That's a week from the windows. So that, those are the old um, counterbalances for the windows that balance the window when you lift them up and down. If you still have those inside your house, chances are you probably still have lead paint inside there as well. So there's a lot of local media down here covering the story. You get different angles. Different stories. What's happening? Charlie 12 and Charlie 2 2, you guys still off on that alarm call? Charlie was calling. Yeah, I'm going to call pending a little bit. Yeah. 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 So you can't really protect it from any elements. Uh, that's gonna be very tough to, even if you put a top across it, it's not gonna um, stay. Because unless you put some kind of structure to keep the top up there. So you could probably board up some of the side windows, which may help a little bit, but any rain is gonna come straight to the top. So, yeah, board up king that's going to start boarding up the uh, building. At the Walgreens, the female still inside, the manager following her around, stealing items. Charlie 111, were you guys able to make contact? We're in our open air, Tango Delta 520, we'll be Ocean Oregon. Good evening up there. Tango Delta 520, good evening. <laughs> get their work cut out for them on this one. Always put the smallest guy in the ladder. So you, you, you stay down the hole though or the smallest guy goes up. <laughs> That's what they always tell you. Send the smallest guy up there. Just in case he falls, you can catch him. That's how it works, right? All right, guys, so that's what we have. Uh, we had a, I believe it was a two alarm fire. I don't know if it went to three alarms. I didn't listen to the whole broadcast. Um, they did send extra support units 
after that, so it may it may have went to a three alarm. I'm not too sure, but it was at least a two alarm. This car got so many tickets on it. I'm not too sure what happened there. It got tons and tons of tickets on the car. Hey, what's going on, man? Up, man? Haven't seen you in a while. I know, I know. It's been too long. What you been up to? Uh, same as you, man. I hear you. Yeah, I'm all busy. over the place, man. It's busy. It is. It's you're right. Stuff. That guy's. Uh, I know. I seen. Him. I'm shocked he doesn't have a boot. Well, that's a good question. That's, uh, that, yeah, right. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to see that. I'm like, what the heck? I, I, know, I saw it earlier. Right? Wow. Good talking to you, man. I'll see you around. Hi. All right, cool. One of the uh, local news. News reporters from Channel 5. Uh, actually, we met about, wow, probably three years ago when I was out there doing my some of my younger videos. We met in the field and we always kept in contact from that day on. Get an angle from this. Charlie, one eleven. One eleven. Start coming nine away, go to come. So it's like 5.35 right now in the afternoon. This fire took place around, um, wow. I want to say it came in around 1.12. I think it was 1.12 in the afternoon, the fire, the first box was struck. And it went on for about at least an hour. The, the last fire truck had just cleared out maybe Five minutes before I arrive. Um, Bravo, it's unfortunate that so many people are going to be um, out of a place to stay. Uh, I, to my knowledge, there was no um, sprinklers in the building. Um, uh, matter of fact, while we're here, let's check and see if they have a um, fire department sandpipe out there. I don't think they do, but. You can't hurt the check. And if they did have one, it would be located somewhere in the front or the side of the building. It's usually not hard to find. Sir, can you walk down? There's a lot of echoes here. What's your call sign again? It doesn't appear that they have any, at least not in the front anyway. Um, <laughs> they're going to fence up the whole building. Friend 
Okay, so all set? Yeah, we're all set. Um, he's actually going to take the package. There doesn't appear to be any sprinkler um, in this building. And these are, these are the kind of buildings that should have them. But, um, so in order for this building to even reopen, he's going to have to have it completely done over, completely, everything got to be modernized now. So it's all, all going to be completely done over completely. And that means everything. Uh, you guys get your work cut out for you today, huh? Yeah, this is one of the... Oh yeah, because it's too much to do on top. Because in order to do that, you got to cover the whole roof. The whole roof not is really open. Not. You do the windows so nothing can come out. Yeah. But I thought we were doing everything up there. To, no, just, to, just the bottom part? Just anything that's not done to grade them. Gotcha. I know, you're right though. You would think they would do something for the window and blow the glass out, right? Yeah. That could be a safety factor. Maybe, maybe eventually, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what she told her colleagues. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, I'm not going to comment on it. I, I, I'll say that for another one. I, I know how it's supposed to be done. And I, it's, it's not being done the right. It's not being done the right way. Trust me. I, I know what. It's going to have to be done. Yeah. Right. We can't do nothing that roof. The whole roof is done. Yeah, the whole roof is completely gone. Up, we could be able to do something. Right. Nothing to hold on to. Oh wait, we take a quick walk around here. So 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 what he's saying is they're only gonna do the um the bottom level windows. They're not gonna secure the top level windows. Which, you know that building, you know, it's gonna be a lot of work now because now that the city's under so much scrutiny. They're not going to allow this person to open this building back up unless everything is done. Like you got bricks that are being compromised there. You got you got fractured lines on both sides. So that whole overhang could potentially fall down. And you got another one on the other side of it. It's, it's kind of... like they did some pointing on the bottom. But the top definitely needs to be done over completely. You got uh, that's not good either. What happens is, is once water gets in there in the winter time, freezing expansion and contraction it will separate that and cause it to pull away. And that's what that's what we mean by the city of Boston is supposed to have inspectors to come out and check these buildings on a regular basis so these kind of things don't happen. Now, if, these, if this building was so-called inspected the way it should be, it probably wouldn't have taken place the way it has. Maybe the fire could have possibly been avoided. Who knows? Trying to back those trailers up is not easy. I mean, it's tough.
Hey right, guys, um, just want to show you what's going on in the city. This is going to be a this will be a hot topic because you know. You have that many um, people displaced. It could have been a lot more serious. As far as we know, there was no serious injuries. I'm not too sure if they're going to put the fence on the um, on the sidewalk or is it going to be on the whole the whole perimeter of the building. So I'm not too sure how they're going to do that. Engine 41, ladder 14, a local alarm. 180 Harvard Avenue, right. Engine 41, ladder 14, a local alarm. 180 Harvard Avenue, right. You're at Fox 514, coming from the Harvard Avenue. 17. Not too sure with that. Um, this is the city of Boston inspectional service. Um, what you call it? Just saying that he's he's worked for the city of Boston. Sir, can I have you go to step, please? All right, hold on.